Hey guys, it's Grace from Graceful Bricks, and today I'm doing a bit of a, a mail call. Uh, I got some some mail. Now, most of this is stuff that I ordered um, from Bricklink to help complete my minifigs of color series, uh, but I did get one piece of mail that was kind of unexpected, so uh, stay tuned and I'll show you that one. First up, we have got from this little guy from Moody Brick Supply. Thank you guys. Uh, yes, I did order it, but uh, still, thank you for shipping things during the time of COVID. Uh, I got tarantula. Now, I don't know much about tarantula. Um, not the spider. The uh, the character. So this is this is tarantula right here. Let's get a nice close up here. Let's get legs on tarantula first. So tarantula is uh, is a bad guy, uh, a villain in the uh, Batman uh, universe. So DC. Um, I have to admit, I I didn't know much about her, um, but I love the hair, the hair piece on her. Check that out. That is amazing. I don't know if I can get actually in here any closer. But it's got like this cool top knot, and then the sides are just sort of pulled back to this ponytail. Oh, I really got to order some of those pieces. Um, but yeah, she's a she's a villain, and uh, and I, I wanted to include some more villains in my Mavics of Color. Uh, then I got another. I got another package here. Let's see what's. I opened these already. My apologies. These are because I wanted to uh, confirm that I had received them on my Bricklink uh, account. So this one is from uh, another Bricklink store. I'm not sure which one. I apologize. It's, it gave a person's address and I don't want to read out the person's address. Um, this one is a character from the Jurassic World series. I believe it's played by Justice Smith. Um, he was a, a scientist. It's from the most recent movie. Uh, you can tell because look at that guy's face. Look at his face. He's terrified. Uh, he was sort of like a scientist, but he was a bit of a, a stay behind the scenes kind of wimp. I, I'm going to have to say it. Um, and, uh, but yeah, great character, and I really loved him. Uh, he gave one of the most heartfelt screams when you see a dinosaur ever. I loved it. Um, so I got him. He's gonna go with the, uh, the other Jurassic Park figs. Um, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, doing really good with having people of color. Um, you know, in the first movie, we basically only had, uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Um, but I mean, come on, you got Samuel Jackson. Uh, I wanted to pick that fig up. Uh, I think it's Ray, I think his name is. Anyway, I wanted to pick him up, uh, and I had him in my shopping cart, and I waited too long <laughs> because, uh, he was selling for like 15 bucks Canadian, and the next time I looked, he'd gone up to 30. And I'm like, ooh, 30 bucks for a fig? I don't know. I'm more like a five, ten dollar fig person. If I'm gonna be paying like thirty bucks for a fig, it better be an amazing fig. All right, this one's from Kingston Bricks Emporium. Thank you so much, guys, for sending along my order. We got another Jurassic World character. This one, I don't know the actor who played this guy, uh, so I apologize. But this is Barry. Now, Barry, uh, I did, this minifig always stumped me because I saw him and I was like, oh, he's just like a generic minifig, but he's not. His name is Barry. And when I actually looked at the set that he was in, I remembered. He's the other raptor trainer. So along with Owen Grady, uh, we have Barry. There were two of them, right? They were working together to train the raptors. So that's who this is. And I'm really happy that I have him now because, uh, again, Jurassic World, really doing well. We got, uh, 
Mr. Mizrani, and uh, we're gonna get Ray at some point, Samuel L. Jackson, when he comes down in price. Um, and then, so those are the three that I ordered, but then I was kind of, I was very surprised. I had put it together an order on eBay, and I, I gotta be honest, I don't order a lot of things off eBay. I don't really know how eBay works. Sorry. Um, but I put together this order uh, because somebody was selling uh, Forest Men minifigs, and I love Forest Men. That was one of my childhood uh, sets and themes was the Forest Men, and I, so I've collected a bunch of those sets now that I'm an adult. Uh, and so they were selling uh, three or four Forest Men minifigs uh, on eBay. The price was pretty reasonable. They were in Canada, and so I was like, yeah, I'll order those. Um, person who was selling them was really really nice um, but they went to the post office and the post office person was not nice to them they had an entire anxiety panic attack uh, I felt so bad hearing that when they messaged me that they they gave me a refund in for all the money and they said you know what like I'm just I can't I can't do it um, and then they messaged me like a week later and they said hey by the way I'm sending you some stuff to say thank you for you know being nice and stuff. So they sent me. They actually sent me some Forest Men minifigs, and I didn't pay for these at all. So I, I feel, on the one hand, kind of bad, and at the same time, I'm kind of like, wow, this is super nice. Um, oh, this guy's got two heads. You know what they say? Two heads better than one. Unless you actually had two heads. I think that would be problematic. There was a... Wasn't there a movie about that years ago? Matt Damon was in it. It was weird. Anyway, I got... So I got three of these little guys. Plus... Little hats. I think that that's one of the coolest things. These little hats. I love these little hats right here. Oh, it's hard to see them. My apologies. There we go. There's the little hats. They're like little arrows themselves. So we can, let's see if I can put one on here. Get one of these guys fully decked out. He's got, he's got his hat, needs his bow and arrow. Gotta have a bow and arrow if you're gonna be in Robin Hood sets. I always found it interesting that they never called them Robin Hood. They were forest men. I wonder if there was something, because that, uh, uh, Kevin Costner movie, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, came out around the same time. I wonder if there was some sort of issue there. Although Robin Hood's got to be, like, free domain by now. It's been, the story's been around for ages. So, I got three of these. So, to to my, my friend, Blake, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, that's it for today from Graceful Bricks. Just a short little mail opening. If you want to send me mail, uh, I have my address, my P.O. box in the description below. Uh, feel free to send me stuff and I'll open it and show it in one of my videos. Um, if you don't want to send me mail, well then keep your Lego to yourself and enjoy it. Uh, that's all for Grace from Graceful Bricks. Thank you so much. I love you. Please stay well. Uh, try and be nice to people and uh, thank you.